Hey everyone, it's Stone here with MixCoach.com. I recently got my hands on Slate Digital's Batch Commander and I wanted to show you how quickly you can set up a session using some presets that I created. Um, so basically I have in this session my mix stems over here. I've done the narrow view in, in Pro Tools because it's quite a large session. So in, in the blue I have my stem sessions, my drums, percussion, bass, acoustic guitar, so on. To the right of that I have my drum tracks here followed by my percussion tracks, followed by my bass, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, piano, and then a live string section. So ordinarily, if I was gonna set the session up, I would select all of my drums, and then I'd go to the output. Let's just go to wide mode, uh, fade view there. Uh, I'd go to outputs, and then I would route them to the bus output. Then I'd go and create a mix edit group, and then assign a, a group ID to the mix edit group. Um, and then I would assign the drum tracks to the mix edit group and so on and so forth for each, each instrument group. But to save time, I've created some presets using Batch Commander. And all I, all I now have to do is select my tracks. So these are all my drum tracks. I hit set up drums and then it now colors the tracks for me, creates a mix edit group, uh, attaches a group ID, um, routes the drums to the drum stem and it's done. Now, if I solo that, my drums are now going to the drum stem. Fantastic. Then I move along in my session and I go to my percussion and watch how quickly it does the same thing. Hit set up percussion. Creates a percussion group, colors the tracks, routes it to the right stem. And my percussion is now set up. Now I go and do the same thing with the bass. Just hit bass, hit set up bass. Obviously, there's only one track here. Sometimes, though, you can have two bass, a live bass, or a DI bass. Brilliant. So the bass is now set up, and I do the same thing with the acoustic guitar. Just hit acoustic guitar. Brilliant. And then we head over to electric guitar. And then we have our piano to do. So I've, I've called this group um, set up keys. So if there were roads or pianos or, you know, uh, things like that, they'd all go to the keys bus. And then I have my strings. So I send this to our press setup orchestra. And then finally, my lead vocal. Press setup lead. And there you have it. My session is now completely set up. Everything is rooted to the correct stem. As you can see the here, all of the drums are also rooted to the uh, uh, mix edit group called drums that I can activate or activate using the letter D. Percussion I can activate or deactivate using P, bass, B, acoustic guitars, A, uh, guitars, G, keys, K, um, orchestra, S for strings, and, and lead vocal, L for lead. And there you go. So basically in a minute you can have your own whole session set up. And what's interesting, I um, counted how many steps or stages, how many clicks of the mouse you'd actually have to do in order to create this and um, it would ordinarily take at least 144 clicks of the mouse to create to route all of those um, tracks to the correct buses and to create the mix group and, and all that kind of stuff whereas um, all i had to do with batch commander is just press eight buttons using eight presets that i created and then it was basically set up in about a minute rather than the five ten minutes that it can take sometimes so Hope you enjoyed that. I've included the presets for you. If you check the link below, um, you'll be able to download the presets, import into Batch Commander, and use it for your own sessions. Hope that helps.